In this video, we're looking at the quick setup of a Hike Vision Network MVR. We're going to be installing the hard drive, powering the system up, assigning a IP address to it, and then connecting two cameras. The cameras are connected straight into the back of this particular MVR. The MVR has four ports on the back, and I'm only using two. I'm using two IP dome cameras. The cameras are PoE powered. So power comes straight from the ports uh, and you know you just need to plug them in it's a simple rj45 connection the cables used from the camera is simple cat5 or cat6 they plug straight into the back of the poe ports on the back of the mvr i'm then taking the lan connection and in my case i'm taking that to the um, broadband or the router or the network i'm taking it to the the point where i can also connect my laptop to the same network so i can go into the mvr i can browse into it on the, on, on the internet explorer and i can make configuration changes and i can also see the cameras as well so you need to consider um, some sort of network connection if you're doing it this way with um, the web browser Before we start, we must install a hard drive in the machine uh, because that's what it is. It's a video recorder, it's a network video recorder. So what we do is remove the lid from the device and there you will see a space to install your hard drive and you'll see some leads to plug the hard drive in. Simply um, place the hard drive in place. On the back of the unit, you can see some keyhole slots where you screw the hard drive in place. Connect the leads, make sure they're in firmly put the lid back on and then we're ready to go you simply power the device up if you power it up without the hard drive um, working you'll get several beeps until the hard drive is installed make sure whenever you're installing the hard drive the power is off so we're going to launch SADP and with that running as you can see on the screen here as soon as it starts up it finds any devices on the network and it's found our MVR straight away. The status is inactive and there's its IP address. So what we can do here is click on this window here and assign it a new password. I'd strongly recommend you assign all new devices the same password. It makes life a lot much easier than trying to remember what password is to do for this and so on. So let's give this one a password. Confirm the password. Uh, channel password and then activate next it asks you how to recover your password if you lose it and um, there's three options G U um, the GUI the GUI ID you can do it through the on-screen display um, then you can do it through um, password prompts where it reminds you what your password is or you can do it on a email reset so it will email you email over to you so i'll choose um the email address here type that in and then once that's done i'll uh, click on confirm next we need to look at our ip address the um, ip address of this computer needs to be the same address as the devices because we're going to browse into them so type in cmd on your taskbar it will start the command prompt window type in ip config and at the bottom there you can see the ip address of this machine here we need to make sure that all the devices we add are on the same network address they're on the 192.168.1 um, address. The last three digits of the addresses are the uh, is the unique address of each device. They all have to be separate addresses so we can browse into them. So back into SADP at the top there um, I'm going to switch enable DHCP off we don't want it um, acquiring a new address if it powers down and powers back up so we'll leave that as, as is IP address as you remember 192.168.1 that's the constant it's got its own unique address here 96 so we can leave that as it is in our case that's fine 
Um, the rest of the information, the ports, the um, subnet mask gateway and IPv6, that's all fine. We can leave that as it is already. Um, we, we know that information is fine. Um, we know it's working. Um, if you remember on my quick screenshot, my router is IPv6 enabled. If yours isn't, it will come up with um, colon marks. It doesn't really matter if they're enabled or not. Let's enable that by typing in the password, click on modify, and then that shows that the devices are configured and ready to go. Um, next, we can browse into them. So with the device configured, what we can do now is go onto this here and just double click. It will open up your browser. I'll close this one here. It will open up your browser and you can log in to your device. Password is admin. Admin and the password is your password that you just set in SADP. So what we can do is go to configuration and just do a little bit of configuration before we start. Um, device name, this is the name that will appear on the network if you're doing a network scan, so I'll leave that as it is. Device is fine. You can't change these settings, there's no point in changing any of them. Um, time settings. Synchronize it with your computer. Makes life so much easier. Um, save that. Now it's important you synchronize all the devices at the same time. Um, so that's saved. Now we need to add some cameras to the system. So we just go to camera management, IP cameras. And you can see here, online, online. I've plugged two cameras into the POE ports on the back of the MVR. It's already found them. It's already assigned them um, new IP addresses, two and three, and the system's actually ready to go. Um, it's configured and we can check it's working. If we go to live view, and then at the bottom here where we can view all, both cameras come up. Um, Camera one is looking at an upside down bell intercom on the side of a Net2 controller and the other camera is looking at the right way up. So what we can do, um, because they're both looking at the same thing but from different angles, perhaps what we could do is change the name that appears on the screen. You can see here the name is camera one, camera one. Let's go to configuration. Let's go to image, OSD settings, on-screen display. So what do we want to change this name to? Well, it's upside down, so let's call it upside down. Um, and if we want to add any custom text, we can do that. Um, you know, we could, you could, call, if, if there was enough space here or you want to put space elsewhere, you can put custom text in place. But I'm quite happy with that. Click on save. Bottom corner, save succeeded. Let's go to camera 2, D2. And we'll call this one, well, the main view is a Paxton, so let's call it Paxton. Again, press save. Bottom corner, save succeeded. Now sometimes the, um, they don't apply straight away. You, you might have to wait a couple of minutes. Um, some say 30 seconds, some say two minutes. Um, but they are, mine are working straight away. You can see Upside and Paxton. And there we go, that's the, the quick way of setting up a high vision MVR with two network cameras plugged into, directly into the back of the um, PoE ports on the MVR. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.